it was the 70s and it was Harlem and it was fucking beautiful. Everything about it was beautiful. The people, the clothes, the lights, the city, the atmosphere. I mean, shit was just fantastic. And I was an inner city kid from the streets of Detroit, just down summer vacation, you know? I was staying with my cousin Cephas and his mother, Sheila. That was my mother's sister, my auntie. And um, I was playing flag football in the streets of Harlem with my shirt off because I had been working all year on this six pack and we were playing right outside of Miss T's apartment and I wanted her to see the six pack I had worked all year on. So I was playing flag football with a few homeboys when one of my homeboys named TC the Psychic tagged me and he wouldn't let me go. And I said, TC, let me go, my man. And he said that he began to see visions. He knew about my cousin from Bronx River coming to see us. And he knew about the corduroys. Now, some of you are saying the corduroys. Yeah, yeah, the corduroys. It was 98 degrees that day. And Preacher was coming. I didn't know what that would mean until I tried to join the crew. But TC, the psychic, told me that Preacher was coming. This is what happened. It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We ain't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him. Bitch, I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rule. Right at three o'clock, as soon as he get out of school. You killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found Story time with old nigga. You know what I'm saying? Listen. When I tried to join the preacher crew, shit was crazy as fuck, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I was down there on summer vacation and shit. Living with my cousin Cephas and shit. My auntie Sheila, like I told you, motherfucker. I was playing football outside Miss T motherfucking apartment building and shit. Trying to let her see these Detroit abs. You know what I'm saying? I had worked all year on these motherfucking abdominables. So shit, I wanted her to see these motherfucking Detroit abs. You feel me? So I'm out there throwing that bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm tossing that motherfucker. Look up at the window. Catch that motherfucker. Look up at the window. Toss that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? So we broke out with some motherfucking tag, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no motherfucking grass in Harlem, nigga. It's a concrete jungle where we was at, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So then, nigga, we out in the middle of the street playing some tag football and shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> when um the nigga motherfucking TC the Psychic Tag me and shit. You know what I'm saying? I had fucked everybody else up. You know what I'm saying? Quarterback sneak shit. Pump fake. Went to running that motherfucker on the Michael Vick tip. Hit a nigga with the Heisman this way. Spent off a nigga that way. One man to beat. TC the psychic. You know what I'm saying? So he in his little stands jumping around doing his dance and shit. Like you ain't getting around me. So you know what I'm saying? I hit the nigga with the Le'Veon Bell in the 70s and shit. I hit him with the boom boom spin. You know what I'm saying? I hit him with the boop, boop, spin. You feel me? But when I spent, because when I hit him with the boop, boop, the nigga went that way. But when I spent the round, he was standing in front of me. Because the little nigga fast as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? The little nigga fast as shit. He was standing right in front of me and shit. And he tagged me, boop. But when he tagged me, his hand wrapped. You feel me? And that's the way I felt. When the hand wrapped, you see, did you see my eyes? That's the way I felt when the hand wrapped. When he tagged me, he was like, tag. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, he started rocking and shit. And if you know anything about TC the Psychic, you know when that nigga started rocking and shit, he having one. You know what I'm saying? And he like, Kassan. I said, what about Kassan? You know what I'm saying? He said, Kassan, his thighs are chafing. No, Kassan, don't do it. I'm like, don't do what? He's like, huh, huh, Kassan's got the corduroys, Kassan's got the corduroys. I'm like, man, is this a song? The nigga said, huh, Kassan's got the corduroys, Kassan's got the corduroys. I'm like, all right, man, let me go, my man. You know what I'm saying? But he couldn't because he was still having motherfucking vision. You know what I'm saying? The nigga was like, huh, preacher coming. Don't join the church. 
You know what I'm saying? Broke the connection. Preacher coming, don't join the church. Kassan got the motherfucking corduroys and his thighs chafing. Don't do it, Kassan. What the fuck is you talking about, TC? I dropped the football. I'm ready to goddamn fight. First day here. Like, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about, dog? He like, tell your cousin don't help. Preacher coming. Tell my cousin, though. Now I'm really fucking confused. Y'all don't want to fight no more. I'm confused. This shit feel like school, nigga. Summer vacation, and you got me thinking a lot, sir. You know what I'm saying? So, then, all of a fucking sudden, guess who pops up? Cousin Kassan. Kassan fucking handles. You know what I'm saying? And guess what Kassan is wearing? Fucking corduroy. Shorts, man. Fucking corduroy. It's 98 degrees out here, man. Why the fuck do you have on corduroy? So now I'm perturbed. You know what I'm saying? I look at TC, the psychic, and he says, I told you. So I'm like, Kassan, man, what's up, nigga? We, we running some football, man. I need a running back. You want to play? He said, hell no, I want to play no football. I said, where you gonna play football, nigga? What's up? He said, my thighs hurt. Looked at TC. He said, I told you. I said, what the fuck wrong with your thighs, man? What y'all been doing? Deadlifts? What's going on, man? What you been doing? Why your fucking legs hurt, man? He like, shit wrong with my legs, nigga. I just don't wanna play no fu- <coughs> Woo, excuse me. So I just don't wanna play no fucking football. You know what I'm saying? I said, okay. Nigga, you can change out the motherfucking corduroys up at Cephas' house, nigga. You know Cephas around the corner and shit. Go change out the motherfucking corduroys, nigga. Throw some motherfucking basketball shorts on. Let's play some football and shit. But he just went and sat down on the stoop. You know what I'm saying? He just went and sat down on the stoop and shit. So what the fuck is wrong with him? You know what I mean? <clears throat> so all of a sudden, I hear, hey, I look at TC, and he like, preacher coming. I'm like, Preacher coming? Now, if you know anything about this character named Preacher, he's supposed to run one of the biggest, baddest motherfucking armies in the city. Like, nigga, everybody wanted to be a part of Preacher Crew or the fuck away from Preacher Crew. You know what I'm saying? It either went one or two ways. Either you a part of this shit or you are far away from this shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm from Detroit. So I'm like, shit, these niggas ain't so bad, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I want to be part of Preacher Crew. You know what I'm saying? I want to join the motherfucking Preacher Crew. And TC looked at me like I was fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was shaking his head and shit. Like, he don't want to play football no more and shit. I asked the nigga if he wanted to get some weed and shit. He was like, fuck weed. He's a Jamaican. Well, you ever heard a motherfucking Jamaican say he'd fuck some weed? But that nigga said, fuck that weed, nigga. He said, I told you not to go to church. I told your cousin not to help. I said, dog, all right, what the fuck do you mean don't go to church? I'm a Christian, nigga. My, listen. My mama told me, don't open the door for Jehovah's Witnesses down here, and we don't eat bean pies, nigga. You better stop trying to recruit me, nigga. I don't do the mosque and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, you don't understand, nigga. You don't understand, nigga. You don't understand, right? So all of a sudden, Shaka pull up. You know what I'm saying? And Shaka got the gold things on the whip and everything else. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers like, that's preacher son right there. I'm like, that's preacher son? That nigga don't look so big and shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty big nigga. I've been working out because I want to miss TC six pack. So I'm fully loaded up in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Detroit style, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So shit. I'm like, yo, yo. What's up, little preach? You know what I'm saying? And nigga was like, they don't call me that around this motherfucker, son. I'm like, yo. What's up, little preach? You know what I'm saying? Give a fuck what they call you around this motherfucker, son. That's what I call you, son. Where your daddy at, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Where your daddy at, nigga? I'm trying to talk to the God. Where your daddy? You know what I'm saying? And nigga was like, he pointed at Kassan and was like, you better get this nigga, man. You better get this nigga. I'm like, nigga, I'm right here, nigga. What the fuck you telling him? I'm right here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So the nigga turned to me and was like, he better get you, nigga. He better get you, nigga. <laughs> he better get you. What? What? I'm like, dog. Where your pops at, man? No disrespect, man. No disrespect, you know what I'm saying? Because I got a motherfucking blade in my motherfucking pocket. I cut the shit out this nigga. Right the fuck now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, you know, no disrespect, my nigga. No disrespect, my nigga. Where your pops at, man? I'm trying to join the corn fresh out of Detroit. You know what I'm saying? You see me, nigga. I'm big as shit, nigga. I'm a lion, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Where the jungle at? You know what I mean? It's how I came on that boy. Pause. Not like that. 
because, you know what I'm saying, the story going to be fucked up at the end, but not like that, but yeah, <clears throat> That's what I said to that boy, rapper, you know what I'm saying? And he like, oh, oh, okay, okay, Pops will be home in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Be home in a minute, nigga. Um, he called one of the niggas, I forget his name, and he was like, yo, yo, take the nigga to the basement. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, nigga, take me to the basement, nigga, you know what I'm saying? TC grabbed me. But he didn't have a vision. He was like, you don't want to go in the basement. Fuck the basement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go downstairs. Fuck Shaka and them. Come on, man. Let's go get some pizza. I'm like, man, you know I'm a vegan. I can't eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? It got cheese on that shit. Let me go, my man. So the nigga let me go. And he was like, look, man, fuck the basement. You know what I'm saying? So Shaka was like, all right, all right, all right. Check it out, man. If y'all niggas really want to be down, I got a job for you. You know what I'm saying? You go do this. And then you be part of the crew for real, for real. When my pops get here, I introduce you, nigga, and we're toasted. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what toasted mean. I guess that meant it to be solid or something like that. So I looked at TC, and he like, I looked at Kassan, and Kassan like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So did me and Kassan went did the job for Shaka. And this is how this went for us. Where a man was found dead in Harlem. Surveillance video shows two guys pushing a cart down the street with the body rolled up in a carpet right on top of it. Police have identified the victim as 27-year-old Anthony Lewis. Sources tell us he had been shot in the chest and had trauma to his head. Now police are trying to figure out whether the men pushing the cart were involved in his death or if they just dumped the body. 